In my more than 20 years of representing car accident victims, I've heard almost every question imaginable. These videos are my way of providing you with free information and advice to best protect your interests in case you've been involved in a car wreck. Does the other driver's insurance have to pay my medical bills and lost wages immediately? I get asked this question all the time. Unfortunately, the insurance company on the other side or the other driver is not going to pay you any money right now. They're going to want you to sign a release of all your claims before they pay you for your lost wages or medical bills. That's why you need an experienced lawyer on your side. Remember, before you sign any documents presented to you by the insurance company, talk to a lawyer. Should I release my medical records to the driver's insurance adjuster? You should not release your medical records to the other driver's insurance adjuster. Medical record releases should only be signed under limited circumstances. If your records get in the hands of the wrong person, it could seriously jeopardize the value of your case. Is there a standard formula for determining fair settlement value for my injury claim? You know, I wish it was that easy. There is no set standard or formula that can be used to value your settlement. There are many factors that go into this analysis, things such as your past medical history, the property damage to your car, whether you make a good witness or not, are all factors that contribute to how an insurance adjuster will pay you on your claim. But one thing is certain, if you have an experienced lawyer on your side, that will maximize the value of your case. Do I have to give a recorded statement to the other driver's insurance company? Absolutely not. There is no requirement that you give a recorded statement either to your own insurance company or the other driver's insurance company. In fact, there are many reasons why you may not want to give a statement. For instance, it may take several days or a week before you understand and appreciate the nature and extent of your injuries. If an insurance adjuster asks you, how are you feeling, and you say, I'm fine, that statement can be used against you at a later time. If I did not go to the doctor right after my accident, will this affect my claim? It certainly could. Claims can certainly be affected by the amount of time that lapses between the time of the accident and the time you go see a doctor. It's common for people involved in accidents not to seek immediate medical advice. They may be too busy. They may think that they weren't injured, or they may think their injuries will just go away. But don't make that mistake. You should see a doctor now. Insurance companies, their adjusters and lawyers love to argue that you weren't hurt because you allowed days and weeks to pass before you sought medical attention. What if I believe the accident was partly my fault? Even if you think you may be partially responsible for the accident, that does not necessarily mean you don't have a case. Defective equipment in your vehicle, a malfunctioning traffic light, or somebody's intoxication could all play a role in the cause of your accident. We investigate every single potential source as to what caused your accident. If I've been in a car wreck, will my insurance go up? We get asked this question many times, and the simple truth is, you have insurance for a reason. You pay premiums, and you expect your insurance company to be there when you need them. In most cases, when the accident is not your fault, your premiums should not be affected. What if I was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of my accident? Not wearing a seatbelt at the time of your accident in some states may drastically affect the value of your claim. In Texas, for example, it can be argued that the severity of your injuries was directly related to your failure to wear a seatbelt. But remember this, if you were involved in an accident that was not your fault, regardless of whether you were wearing a seatbelt or not, you need to call an experienced lawyer today. Is the mechanic at fault if recent repairs contributed to my accident? These are tough cases. We've got to be able to prove that the mechanic's work was directly responsible for causing the car accident. For instance, you may not have stopped at a red light and you just got your car back from having your brakes fixed and it's your claim or allegation that the brakes didn't work. 
that may be a good case if we can prove that your brakes actually didn't work at the time of the accident. But this requires you to do a couple of things. One, we have to have your car inspected immediately. We have to be able to show exactly what the mechanic did or didn't do that caused your brakes not to work at the time of your accident. So if you have a case like this, please call us and we can help you evaluate whether you have a good case or not. I've been in a wreck. Do I need a lawyer? If you have been seriously injured in a car wreck or truck accident, you need to talk to an experienced car wreck lawyer today. Why not? The call is free. Many times, drivers injured by no fault of their own will say things to insurance adjusters that can later be used against them. Many times, drivers will take responsibility or blame for an accident they did not cause. Other times, drivers will be misled by insurance companies. We will tell you straight whether you need a lawyer or not in your car accident case. Just call us. If you would like more information on this subject or answers to any other questions, visit my website at theinsiderslegalguide.com and request your free copy of my book, The Biggest Mistakes Drivers Make After an Accident.